All right, let's see what the overall energy for this reading. Okay, that was ready. That was quick. Magnetic. Unexplainable pull. Can't resist. Okay, so there is an unexplainable pull, and someone is not able to resist it. Now, on this card, there is a woman who's walking, and there's another hand that's either pulling her hand or she's pulling that person. Now, I don't know where they're going, but I see some stairs, okay? So, someone could could be try, could be pulling on someone else's energy because they can't release them. Someone could, you could feel someone pulling on you or you're pulling on someone else's energy because it's so strong. They can't, you know, you guys can't release each other because I look, look her, her back is turned. So, is she walking away and this person just won't let her go? Or is she, is she trying to pull this person where she is? Because there are some stairs. So is she trying to pull this person up to the next level where she's going? You can't take everybody with you. So I feel like she's headed towards those stairs. And that's elevation. Wherever she's headed, it's up. There's someone who may be trying to hold on to you while you're on your way up. With this Knight of Cups out here, this is giving someone who may be trying to present something to you. They could be coming to you with love and emotions, you know, maybe wanting to declare something or express something to you. High Priestess energy out here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy is out here. Someone wants to present something to a High Priestess or to someone who is very intuitive, very spiritual, okay? What is, what's going on? What is, what's in this cup for this High Priestess? What's in this cup? Because I feel overwhelming love and emotions here. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Something is a false start. Something is not. Um, no. No. Whatever this is, the Ace of Pentacles is in reverse. If you're trying to pull someone with you and you know that this person is not elevating, they're not growing, this is an Eight of Cups. This is a this is a this is a, a false start. It's not going anywhere. It's not going to grow. Okay, you you can still have your Ace of Pentacles. It will not be with this person. Whoever has this magnetic pull that they can't seem to resist you, or you can't seem to resist this person, just know that the Ace of Pentacles is in reverse. Eight of Cups. You're moving on to another level. Okay, you're going to another place spiritually, emotionally, even physically. That someone cannot seem to elevate to. You are the high priestess coming out here, okay? This person is a knight of cups. You are in this queen of wine energy. Very magnetic. You're very attractive to a lot of people. And that's by default because of who you are. You are surrounded in, in positive energy, okay? You sit on the throne. You are someone who is very magnetic, very spiritual, you are in your in your feminine energy, masculine energy, however you want to take it, however you want to call it. Whatever this pull that someone has towards you, it's just it's just because of who you are. That it doesn't mean they can come with you. Okay? Who is this person? Who is this Knight of Cups? Who is this Knight of Cups? Whoever this is, there's conflict around this person. Five of Wands. It could be competition. Someone could be in the Nine of Wands. Very guarded. Okay? You may have gone through a lot with this person. Or you're trying to... You may need to block your energy off from this person. The Nine of Wands, the nine of wands can mean a lot here. I feel like if you're this High Priestess energy, you've gone through quite a bit. You need to protect your energy here. Okay? With the Four of Wands... This could be you fighting for your, your foundation, okay? But I ask, who is this Knight of Cups? This could be someone... They want to experience the Four of Wands with you. They want to celebrate, okay, with you. They want to have this foundation with you, but what's surrounding them is, is conflict, fights, arguments, petty strife. There's... Five of Wands is people in some type of competition or something. It could even involve child's play because, I mean, 
A lot of people say the five of wands is just kids horse playing around. So someone may not even be serious about the offer that they're trying to so-called give you. Because the ace of pentacles is in reverse. There's nothing in that cup, baby. So I feel like you need to protect yourself. I don't care how much of a strong magnetic energy you, you feel for this person or they feel for you. What are you getting out of this? What's this here? Knight of the Knight of Swords. So someone, I'm telling you, Knight of Swords to the Five of Wands. Oh, this is this someone who wants to fight for you, or do they have you in some competition? Or what is this here? Why is the Knight of Swords out here? The Hangman. Pisces energy again. Don't don't get stuck here okay i don't what this hangman see it from a different perspective okay because this knight is going into battle here this knight is is into some type of competition or fights or something here already why is this energy seeming to be so hmm. you know what i'm getting what clarify what I'm feeling here? You got the six of cups. So this could be someone who you've known. This could be someone from your past returning. Okay, this could be someone who's very nostalgic. They could be also stuck on the past here. With the emperor, six of cups to the emperors, you can have a child with this person, or this person desires to have a family with you. But what I'm feeling is the reason why um, something is a no or some, someone is not able to come with you, um, they create too, con too much conflict, okay? You're, you're going to have to constantly be fighting for uh, something here with this person. And I don't know if it has to do with someone who they have in the past, if they're going to always have you in some situation because of something from their past. Or if this person, is, I keep hearing tyrant. Why do I keep hearing that? It's almost like someone's energy draws in a lot of confusion. Who is this? The death card could be a Scorpio. Four swords in reverse. Someone who, who, king of sword. I'm, I'm hearing tyrant, okay? For some of you, this person can't go with you because their energy draws a lot of conflict. There's something about this person that's a bit combative and I feel like it could cause situations around you to come to a halt. okay you're on your way to something and I know you feel a magnetic pull or you want to take this person with you or they want to take you with them whatever the case is I feel like some of them for one may have too much going on around them which is why you need to protect your energy or this per person has has some type of ties to something in their past that they need to release they can't take all that with you okay with with no no so i saw it in reverse is someone to me like i said who is still um in some type of battle because the four of swords upright someone recovering from battle they're they're going to rest and meditate and heal so i feel like someone's not healed over some ending or something that they have going on something has is not healed with a person and so they can't take all that energy with where you're going okay how does this person see you i want to see something Five of Swords to the Nine of Pentacles. They see you as self-sufficient. They see things around you growing. You blowing up here, but the, and they also see that there's competition for you with the Five of Swords. They see competition for you, and that's what's driving this person. Their energy, Queen of Swords. Okay, they want you to cut out the competition that's coming in. They want to cut it out before it before you know it gets even worse. Um, whoever this person is, I don't know if their intentions are pure because it's almost like they see you block blowing up they see that you're headed somewhere and they just don't want anybody else to get you but if you take this person with you they come with a lot of baggage they come with yeah six of swords they come with some with some other stuff the traditional six
six of swords there's like a woman and a child in the boat with the man you this person come with other stuff and there's the empress with the six of cups this person is going to bring their past with them whether it's a person place thing or some type of behavior they're going to take all that that's just like when you you know you move into a nice area say you lived in the hood and i ain't knocking it because i live in shit. this is the hood here to me and you move into a nice area and then you know you start in, inviting your friends and your family over and this is a very nice upscale neighborhood you know and your people start coming over with the loud music and they got the the red solo cups out and the people you know they don't even let you park on their grass but now your your uh, people are coming over they parking on the grass sitting on the car with solo cups and they blasting the music in a neighborhood where they don't they're not used to that they don't allow all of that you know what i'm saying so now this person is bringing all that past stuff into your new future and i feel like no matter what the magnetic pull is they can't seem to resist you with the lovers you need to be very selective in your choices and i'm not knocking what i'm saying please don't take offense to what i'm saying but what i'm saying is somebody is unhealed they're stuck in a past mindset or a past way of living or even stuck with a past person and they're trying to go with you to the future. It's something like that. Like, no, nah, hell no, nah, you're not going to take all that drama into my future. I'm not going to deal with that. And I feel like this is what you get. Look, seven of wands. You need to be more protective of your Self, your family where you're going I feel like your ancestors are not even going for it I feel like they are trying to keep this person away from you whoever you are it's like look at the hermit coming out you got a, a, a masculine ancestor a father figure a uncle a grandpa or something that's that's sitting here like yeah block that off block this off no somebody is trying to protect you Look at the Ace of Swords at the bottom. This is the truth here. Somebody's trying to help you get a breakthrough in your life. And whatever this magnetic pull that you are feeling with someone, what is the nature of this magnetic pull? Let's just get down to the bottom. Is it spiritual or is it sexual or what? what is this? Let's hold on. Let's see what this is. Look at the Ace of Swords at the bottom of this deck, too. I'm trying to tell y'all. You got a breakthrough coming, and I feel like your ancestors are trying to fight to get you to something. But you got whatever this is, you can't seem to resist, or who can't seem to resist you? Huh. What is this magnetic pull between the collective and this other person? What is this, the nature of it? Whatever it is, it's stressful. Why the Nine of Swords? What is this magnetic pull? The moon card. Deep emotions, hidden emotions, or hidden uh, intentions. Seven of Pentacles. Whatever the magnetic pull is, I feel like you may not even be sure why you're so drawn to this person. And it could be the mysteriousness or maybe there's a, myster a mystery to you that makes this person wonder. Like Seven of Pentacles, look how she's looking up at this. Like there's just something about this person. And, and she can clearly see that that tree is blossoming. That tree is growing, okay? So for me, I feel like someone's magnetic pull to you has everything to do with where you're going what's sprouting up in your life okay the magnetic pull that you may feel is because you don't really know exactly what this person's intentions are so you may be feeling like you know you you may be clarified as nine of swords you may feel that this is a safe thing because you don't really see anything bad about it two of pentacles yes you don't know how to feel about this person for some of you because maybe they have hidden their intentions from you. So it keeps you in your head. What is this card here? A nine of Cups. It, it, you're uncertain. Two of Pentacles to the Nine of Cups. You're not sure if this is truly your wish fulfillment or not because maybe this person hasn't really shown you 
you know, uh, something. Mm, this is for some of you because you got to know something about this past now. Don't turn a don't turn a deaf ear, you know. Don't sit here and ignore. Don't ignore what someone has been showing you because I feel like some of you just don't really know exactly how to feel, you know, about this person. But the chariot is here to take you along and can't nobody go in this chariot with you. Okay? Can't nobody go. Look at this Ace of Cups. You got a new beginning that's coming in. And there's a Knight of Cups offer again. Okay, so maybe you, maybe as you jump in this chariot and move forward, you'll receive, you know, the offer that is for you. But you may be needing to lay aside any person at this time that's trying to reconcile with you, someone from the past that's trying to make new offers. You want to be careful about that. Now, I will also say that, yes, you have a magnetic uh, attraction to someone, but is it for the right reasons, Okay. Is this someone who's, who can help you to grow and help you along your journey or not? Because the Ace of Pentacles is in reverse. And it's telling me that something in your life may come to a halt if you truly take someone else, if you take this particular person with you. You have better options that are coming in for you. So I need you to be optimistic, okay? Ten of Cups. Look at the Ten of Cups. You got a Ten of Cups. So you may have a choice to make. And I feel like you need to look at the Four of Wands. Some of you are, are going to meet your divine partner. And it's going to lead to marriage. You do have an Ace of Cups already um, designed for you. Okay. But whoever this person is that's trying to latch on to you. So a particular person. they You you can't take them. Okay. Because their, their energy is coming off as a tyrant. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. I hope this message made sense to you. I hope it brought clarity to your situation. Okay? Uh, for whoever this is for. Uh, leave it in the comments. Even if it's not your story, tell me what you think about it. What's your advice to whoever this person is that this message is for? What is your advice? I want to see that. All right. I'll see you guys on the next one.